What is up you guys? Welcome to the video. So today I had a very highly requested festival lineup review and this one in particular is for EDC Portugal 2021. So if any of you guys are new here, for my festival lineup reviews, what I like to do is go through the entire lineup and give you my recommendations on artists that I personally love and would like to see live. And then I want to highlight the talent on here that might not be as well known so you guys can walk away from this video feeling more knowledgeable about the lineup overall and have plenty of new artists to listen to. One thing I do want to note about this lineup, because it is in EDC Portugal, there is a ton of international talent on here, a lot of local DJs, and a ton of British artists and producers. One thing you guys might know with EDC is that there's always a really well-rounded lineup, plenty of genres represented here, but I do have to say, after doing my research, there is a heavy influence of hard dance music and drum and bass on this lineup. Obviously that must be really popular in the area. I know overseas both of those genres are far more represented than they are in the United States. So you have no shortage of those two genres. But that's not all we have. So I'm gonna start by giving you guys my top recommendations. I'm gonna pop them up here and give you some song recommendations to check out as well. All right, let's just start with the first line. The number one I would recommend here is Adam Bayer presents Drum Code. I've seen that live before. He is a techno legend and Drum Code just kind of elevated everything. He puts other techno artists on a platform and lifts up what's new and great in the genre. So definitely do not miss that. Uh, the next one, Alesso. We all know Alesso. He is one of the biggest mainstream artists, but to me, his songs have a lot of nostalgia. So I do love seeing him live. He's great. Amelie Lenz is another techno artist that you guys should keep an eye on. I still haven't seen her live and I'm dying to, so I would be at her set. Andy C, classic drum and bass artist, he's really big as well. Anna is another techno artist that I want to see. I'm loving the female representation on here. That's something that's big for me on festival lineups. The GOAT, Armin Van Buren. If you guys have not had a chance to see Armin live yet, you're missing out. There are very few things that rival an Armin Van Buren live performance and his energy and love for dance music just comes across through his sets. Art Bat is another one I've been talking about recently. It's a more underground sounding duo that's on my radar and I'm a very big fan of. I haven't seen live yet, so I would be there. So many hard dance artists on here. Camel Fat, guys, if you want to like a tech house, vibey set that's just gonna be a good time all around, you have to go see Camel Fat. Charlotte DeWitt, another iconic female techno artist. All the techno ladies stepping it up. Serez D. You guys, Serez D is one of Eric Prid's aliases. It's one of my personal favorites. It's his more darker techno side. Actually, now that I say that, there is a lot of techno represented on this lineup as well, but you can't miss Serez D. Eric Prid's comes alive under that alias. So many names I don't recognize here, but I'm gonna come back to them in a second. Detweekas and Darren Styles are very popular hard style artists. So if you guys want an introduction to the genre or if you've never really experimented with that as much, I would recommend going to those two sets. Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike, it's not my cup of tea, but you know, those are your progressive house, mainstream act. Diplo, same thing. You never know what you're gonna get with the Diplo set though because he has so many different projects. He has Major Lazer. His new album has a little bit of country in it and a little bit of hip hop influence. So, and then he has his house tracks. So it's always a good time. You'll find something fun there. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend seeing Dr. Fresh. Incredible G House artist. That one is just gonna be like your dirty bass vibes, um, but still upbeat and fun and dancey. So definitely see him. And then in this next line, you've got DJ Snake, Dom Dalla, and Don Diablo. I would recommend all three of those. I feel like DJ Snake will bring a really cool element to EDC Portugal. He's a global artist, right? He can kind of do anything, but you never know. He can really throw down in his sets. Dom Dalla is one of my favorite house artists to shuffle to. I got to see him at Izu. I'm gonna play two of his songs, Take It and San Francisco. You'll know these as soon as you hear them. Just so groovy, all the sexy bass lines and that, amazing. And then San Francisco. All of the shuffling, all of the dancing, so good. Don Diablo, again, huge Dutch artist. He's got his own like future house kind of sound. Um, he's so unique, he's nostalgic to me. I love the lyrical content in his songs. I love to dance to them. He's just a feel good, good time. This B3B is a can't miss if you're into techno. Dubfire, B3B, Nicole Mudaber, B3B, Paco, Asona. 
techno legends that's a whole vibe enrico san giuliano i definitely recommend again this is another factory 93 artist i saw him at edc las vegas um oliver heldens dropped one of his tracks in one of his sets and i was like what is this i'll play it for you <laughs> The drop in that, like I actually cannot. And then the man, the myth, the legend, he needs no explanation, Eric Prids. If you have not seen Eric Prids live yet and you are going to EDC Portugal and you do not go, ma'am, I will be very disappointed in you. There is nothing that matches an Eric Prids live performance. He is incredible. I, I can't say that much about it other than you'll know when you go see him. So don't miss that. And then you've got a ton of like popular artists that you can't go wrong with. Fisher, Galantis, Gorgon City. And then you have Hannah Wants, back to back Sam Devine. I'm not as familiar with Sam Devine, but Hannah Wants is an amazing house artist. I believe she's British. I would definitely go see her. I haven't seen her live yet. Gorgon City, one of my favorite artists. They have so many hits and so many remixes that are so good. Galantis, we know Galantis. Fisher, you guys all know Fisher. His crowd, Fisher's crowd, tends to get a little bit rowdy though, so who knows what the vibes will be like at that. Holy Goof is another bass house artist that I'm a big fan of. There honestly, there is bass house on this. It's not as popular clearly on this as drum and bass is, but Holy Goof is a good time. Hot Since 82 is a good time. Jamie Jones is an incredible techno artist. I don't think I've seen him live yet. He's been around forever though. Again, really, really incredible. You can't go wrong with his set. My boy Jaws is on here. I'm a massive Jaws fan. I love him. I just think his career has been so incredible. He's done so many different things. I feel like he can kind of go through different genres, but it's always upbeat. It's always fun. You can always dance to it and he can always like throw the fuck down and like throw some other kinds of shit and remixes and popular songs into his tracks. Jaws already just as a young artist can play an entire set of his own music. Like he does have some really great remixes, but it's just a great fun time. You can't go wrong. And he can throw down as well. Marshmallow's on here. I was the original member of Mellow Gang. I still love him to this day. There's been some tracks that I haven't been the biggest fan of, but his new release that just came out with Usher was really good. So if you're a Marshmallow fan, definitely go check him out. Nora and Pure, love her. She's an amazing deep house artist. And even though her stuff's a little bit more chill, I got the chance to see her live at EDC Orlando and her set was such a good time. It was just good vibes all around. It was a little bit more chill, but she still had some stuff in there that was upbeat and really fun to dance to. Solardo is another tech house duo that I would highly recommend checking out. I mentioned before, Sunny Federa, he's similar to Dom Dalla, so you'll get a similar vibe. Subfocus just put out a record with Wilkinson, who is also on here, both incredible drum and bass artists. Um, Subfocus is really great live, so I would see him, Chami, Tommy's new album is bomb.com. It's so good. He's gonna give you all the future house vibes. You're gonna wanna shuffle, you're gonna wanna dance. Uh, love that man. Tiesto, need I say any more? If you guys haven't experienced Tiesto yet live, I really recommend it. He has just so many years of music, so many songs to just sing at the top of your lungs. It's just always fun. You're always gonna dance and have a good time. Vintage Culture as well. Haven't seen him live, but I really like some of his tracks and I like his collaboration with Tiesto called Coffee. Check that one out. W and W is another great one. All right, so now I wanna go through this list again and point out some names that you might not have heard of that you should definitely be aware of so that you don't miss the chance to see them live because you were sleeping on them. Again, a majority of these people were either hard dance artists or drum and bass artists, but um, Chase and Status was one. Very interesting drum and bass artist. It's an English duo, and they do have a live element, I've heard. One of them actually plays the drums, so I think Chase and Status would be a cool one to see. I really liked Darkseed. Darkseed was a British bass house producer, so somebody I hadn't heard of really liked followed him on Spotify. I really liked K9 as well. He was a drum and bass artist um, from London. Again, so many incredible British talent on this lineup, but he had a really cool vibe. I sent some of his music to my friends, so I would be at K9 set. Okay, Skepsis was another one that was a very unique artist that I think a lot of you would be surprised by. So I wanna read this description uh, about his music. It said it's dark enough to resonate with jungle, UK garage, and grime heads, but it's funky enough to maintain the house lovers. So if you like a combination of those things, I feel like you're gonna like this London producer, Skepsis. 
And then along with that, um, there was another artist that had a song with Skepsis who's on here, TS7. He's another amazing house DJ. Fun, a feat, another British producer, so those two kind of coincide to me. Diana Oliveira uh, is a techno artist. I liked her song, Shut Off. She seems to be way more underground, definitely a smaller artist. That was actually one thing I really liked about this lineup, so hats off to you, Pasquale, and the Insomniac team. There were a lot of artists that I looked up who had about under 15,000 monthly streams. Dimension is another one worth noting, you guys. Another really big drum and bass artist. This one is one of the bigger artists that's coming out of the UK, so don't sleep on Dimension. Okay, two hard dance artists to check out, DJ Isaac and DJ Mad Dog. DJ Mad Dog was like very, very intense, aggressive hard dance. It was not my cup of tea listening to it, but I know some of you guys will like that. So that's there for you if you want it. Um, In Rush was a hard dance artist as well. And then Hybrid Minds I thought was cool. They're more chill, down tempo, drum and bass. So if that's more your thing, check out Hybrid Minds. Okay, the other B3B, Joey Daniel, B3B Pyrocopy, B3B Ben Sterling. This is your groovy tech house, B3B. Um, again, some more underground British artists in there, so that one would be cool. Rampa was more chill, deep house vibes. So that's definitely not missing from this lineup. It's just not the most popular genre represented. If you want really energetic, big sounding, hard style, so this is another good entryway artist to hard dance, uh, Celtic is an artist that you should know. Leighton Giordani is another techno artist you should know about. He has songs with Adam Bear. I had no idea. Uh, Space Date and Data Point, definitely check out those two. Mackie G, really, really fun, upbeat drum and bass artist. Michael Beebe is a UK based tech house artist who's definitely on the rise. He is one to watch for sure. Pam Pot, a lot of people know Pam Pot already. They're a techno duo from Berlin. Uh, I really like their stuff. Same thing for Pleasure Craft, it's another techno artist. This one was a new discovery for me and I was like, I was moving and I was grooving. I was really into it. So I would definitely go see Pleasure Craft. Okay, this one, I thought it was Sauce Sauce. Literally LOL to me. It's S-A-S-A-S-A-S. S-A-S-A-S-A-S, yes. Is a massive musical group made up of six of the biggest and hottest names in drum and bass. You're gonna have MCs on there. You're gonna have rap, drum and bass, all the things. So, so that's for sure probably gonna be a very high energy set. And then the last one that really had big appeal to me was Sigma. I didn't realize Sigma had some um, tracks with Sam Felt. They are a British drum and bass duo, but to me this was more mainstream and pop sounding, like really good vibes, sing along kind of music. Uh, I just really liked their energy and it, it was a little bit more poppy. I really like Sam Felt, so if you like him, you'll like the vibe of Sigma. Whew, you guys, we are finally at the end of this lineup review. Please excuse any sounds you heard in the background. My house is currently under construction, so you might have heard banging and hammering and all of those fun things. If you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something new, I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It hurts my soul that I will not be at EDC Portugal with you guys next year. Uh, I have a wedding, so I can't make it, but you guys are gonna have the absolute best time. It sounds like an amazing event. I can't wait to see what they do with this new location. Definitely leave me a comment down below if you guys already have your tickets or if you plan on going. And if you have any more recommendations from this lineup, please leave a comment down below with artists that you think we should all check out. Help each other out in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.